Pluto is a far-off and mysterious planet that was once a member of our local planetary system's celestial family. However, recent surprising announcements by prominent astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have brought Pluto back into the spotlight with an astonishing revelation. They propose that this cold world may be on a potential collision course with Neptune. But how could this happen, and what might the consequences be of such a catastrophic event? Are we witnessing a fascinating cosmic anomaly, or is there? 32 seconds something else at play with this looming massive crash? Join us as we explore the possibilities of a Pluto-Neptune interaction. Pluto, which was previously classified as a planet but later redefined as a dwarf planet due to its unusual orbit, continues to be a subject of intrigue and research within the astronomical community. As indicated by recent predictions from leading scientists, Pluto's orbit is dangerously close to Neptune's, prompting astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku to raise concerns about a 1 minute and 4 seconds possible hazardous collision between the two planets, which could pose a significant threat to Earth. But how is such an event even conceivable? Pluto's journey around the Sun is unlike any other planets in our solar system. It takes an astonishing 248 years to complete a single orbit, meaning that since its discovery in 1930, it has not yet finished one full cycle. However, the intrigue does not end there. Pluto's path characterized by its highly elliptical form, deviating considerably from the nearly circular orbits of the 1 minute and 37 seconds major planets. What makes Pluto's orbit even more peculiar is its tilt, measured at 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane. Its route follows a much steeper incline compared to the other planets, adding complexity to its orbital behavior. One of the most fascinating features of Pluto's orbit is its intersection with Neptune's. For about 20 years during each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, defying what we might expect based on their positions in the solar system. This raises the natural question. 2 minutes and 9 seconds, why hasn't Pluto collided with Neptune? The answer lies in the gravitational influences of other planets. The investigation of Pluto's orbit began shortly after its discovery. Initially, astronomers sought to understand its unusual trajectory. Unlike the orbits of the other planets, which are relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's path stood out due to its steep inclination and elliptical shape. The mystery deepened when it was realized that Pluto's orbit crosses Neptune's. The stability of Pluto's orbit, despite these 2 minutes and 42 seconds complexities, serves as evidence of the intricacies of celestial mechanics. The three-body problem in astrophysics describes how three objects in space, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, interact and affect each other through their gravitational forces. It's like trying to predict their movements based on their starting positions and the gravitational influences they exert on each other. In Pluto's case, this problem explains how its trajectory, Neptune's orbit, and the Sun's gravity work together in a complicated manner. Duh. 3 minutes and 14 seconds terms Amal libration, scope libration, and Vic-Zip oscillation are key components in understanding this puzzle. According to astrophysicists, what keeps all planets in their orbits is azimuth vibration. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, this term means that whenever Pluto crosses Neptune's orbit, it is positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune. This spatial separation is crucial in preventing their orbits from colliding. Scope vibration, on the other hand, refers to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit. For Pluto, 3 minutes and 50 seconds this means that when it approaches Neptune or any other large planet, it is positioned well above their orbital plane providing an additional layer of protection against potential collisions. Another key concept is the Vic-Zip oscillation, named after three researchers who investigated how objects move in space. It describes how three celestial objects, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun, exert gravitational forces on each other, which influences their motion. In Pluto's case, the Vic-Zip oscillation helps explain why its orbit. 4 minutes and 23 seconds around the Sun is so unconventional. Despite Pluto's path appearing chaotic, this oscillation helps it maintain a steady course over millions of years. These factors all contribute to the stability of Pluto's orbit, ensuring that it does not collide with Neptune or deviate from its course. The three-body problem helps us understand how these influences shift based on the gravitational interactions of these celestial bodies. Studying this system helps astronomers gain deeper insights into Pluto, our solar system, and distant. 4 minutes and 55 seconds worlds. 
mathematical simulations from the late 1980s revealed that despite these stabilizing features, Pluto's orbit is still turbulent, with minor variations in initial conditions leading to significant changes over millennia. However, these unique characteristics of Pluto's orbit have shown to maintain stability over incredibly long periods, keeping the chaos under control. Recent computational simulations have enhanced our understanding of how the giant planets like Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. 5 minutes and 30 seconds Neptune has a unique relationship with Pluto. For every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This relationship helps keep Pluto's path consistent. However, Neptune isn't the only force at play. Jupiter's gravity also plays a crucial role in maintaining Pluto's orbit. In fact, Jupiter's gravitational force alone is strong enough to ensure Pluto stays on a stable trajectory for an extended period, even billions of years. Thus, Neptune, Jupiter, and Saturn are working together to ensure Pluto continues its 6 minutes and 6 seconds safe journey through space. These features are essential in maintaining order. Within the cosmos, ensuring the motions of celestial bodies remain stable and predictable. Without these mechanisms, our solar system would be much more chaotic, and objects like Pluto could risk colliding with others or being ejected from their stable paths, leading to potential consequences for other celestial bodies. For Pluto, especially in light of discussions about a potential future collision with Neptune, understanding its orbit is 6 minutes and 37 seconds crucial. It gives us a clearer view of the dynamic nature of the solar system. Pluto's situation shows how even seemingly unstable orbits can achieve a state of balance through complex interactions between gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. It also highlights the need for ongoing observation and exploration to further deepen our understanding of our place in the cosmos. The vastness of space often forces us to confront the erratic behavior of celestial objects, and Pluto's orbit is a prime example of this. 7 minutes and 8 seconds unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, which refers to the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's trajectory on its initial conditions, is vividly illustrated in Pluto's case. This means that even small changes in Pluto's location or speed can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Simulations using virtual models have proven extremely valuable for scientists in understanding how Pluto moves through space. These simulations use advanced mathematics to model how Pluto and other celestial bodies like Neptune influence. 7 minutes and 41 seconds each other's movements. By adjusting even the tiniest details in the simulations, astronomers can observe how small changes can result in drastically different outcomes. In the late 1980s, these models revealed something fascinating about Pluto's orbit. Even with stabilizing mechanisms like AML and scope libration, its path can still exhibit wild and erratic behavior. A slight variation in Pluto's location or velocity can, over many years, lead to a very different trajectory. Yet, amidst this chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable. 8 minutes and 16 seconds over extensive periods, even spanning billions of years. This suggests that Pluto's journey around the Sun follows a certain order, even if it initially appears scattered. Predicting events, particularly those involving turbulent orbits like Pluto, presents significant challenges. The inherent unpredictability of these systems implies that long-term forecasts are often full of uncertainties. While mathematical simulations offer a powerful way to comprehend and predict the future behavior of celestial bodies, they also 8 minutes and 48 seconds reveal the limitations of our ability to predict with certainty. These models depend heavily on the accuracy of initial conditions and the complexity of the interactions being simulated. Even a small error or misrepresentation can result in drastically different outcomes, making precise predictions extremely difficult. Moreover, the chaotic nature of celestial orbits, such as Pluto's, serves as a reminder of the constantly evolving and is dynamic characteristics of the universe. While we've made significant 9 minutes and 18 seconds strides in understanding space, Pluto's orbit underscores the limits of our knowledge. Understanding how the gravitational forces from giant planets affect Pluto's orbit provides valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It shows how the presence and arrangement of each planet can profoundly impact the stability and trajectory of other bodies within the system. So why are leading astrophysicists only now expressing concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune, despite all? 
9 minutes and 49 seconds these intricate forces working to prevent such an event? Neil deGrasse Tyson, a renowned astrophysicist and key figure in popularizing cosmology, offers a unique perspective on the mystery of our solar system, particularly Pluto. Tyson, recognized for his role in reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet, views this adjustment not as a demotion but as an essential update to our growing knowledge of the many bodies orbiting the Sun. His approach emphasizes continual learning and adaptation. Tyson considers Pluto's unusual orbit as 10 minutes and 23 seconds evidence of how much more remains to be discovered in space. The interest in questions like the potential interactions between Pluto and Neptune reflects the dynamic and often unpredictable nature of our solar system. His work illustrates that the more we learn about space, the more questions emerge, encouraging further exploration. Michio Kaku, another esteemed physicist and futurist, provides a complementary viewpoint on the enigmas of space, focusing on the unpredictable forces shaping the universe. Kaku's ability to 10 minutes and 55 seconds connect intricate scientific ideas with visionary concepts makes him an influential voice in discussions about celestial mechanics and their broader implications for humanity. Kaku emphasizes the need for continuous observation and advanced modeling to predict and understand potential cosmic events. He views the interactions between celestial bodies as an area of critical inquiry, not only for academic curiosity but for practical significance. Kaku's futurist perspective encourages us to consider the broader implications of 11 minutes and 27 seconds such events, from how they influence our understanding of the solar system to the potential necessity for future space interventions. His viewpoint highlights the importance of preparing for the unforeseen in space. Both Tyson and Kaku converge on the idea that space is a realm of infinite discovery, and that our current knowledge, while extensive, is still limited. They emphasize the necessity for ongoing exploration and advanced modeling to continually enhance our understanding of the universe. The potential collision between Pluto and 11 minutes and 58 seconds Neptune serves as a case study for the broader challenges and opportunities in space exploration. It underscores the need for rigorous scientific inquiry, cutting-edge technology, and a willingness to revise our understanding as new information arises. Both Tyson and Kaku use Pluto's situation to call the scientific community, and humanity as a whole, to push the boundaries of knowledge further. There is general consensus among scientists that the orbits of Pluto and Neptune will remain stable for many years to come, thanks to 12 minutes and 29 seconds their mean motion resonance and the various gravitational influences acting on them. Therefore, a direct collision between Pluto and Neptune is considered highly unlikely. However, the complexities and potential fluctuations in orbital elements mean that astronomers must continue to observe and study these celestial bodies to understand their long-term behavior and any potential risks they may pose. While the probability of a Pluto-Neptune collision remains mostly theoretical and improbable based on our current 12 minutes and 58 seconds understanding, it highlights the importance of ongoing space exploration. Advances in technology, such as improved telescopes and computational simulations, will help astronomers refine their models and predictions, keeping us informed about the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of our solar system. Tyson's views on Pluto's reclassification and Kaku's focus on the unpredictable nature of celestial mechanics both emphasize the need for continuous research and a flexible understanding of the universe. The 13 minutes and 28 seconds potential collision scenario, while improbable, underscores the dynamic and intricate interactions within our solar system. Ultimately, it reminds us of the vast, still unexplored areas in our understanding of space. Through persistent research and observation, we continue striving to unravel these mysteries, ensuring our knowledge evolves in step with the advancing universe. As the decades progress and new missions to the outer solar system are planned, Pluto continues to capture the imagination of scientists and the public alike. With each passing year, our telescopes grow more powerful, and space agencies like NASA, ESA, and others begin to envision missions that go beyond simple flybys. A future orbiter around Pluto could provide the kind of detailed, long-term data needed to monitor the nuances of its orbit, atmosphere, and potential internal ocean. 14 minutes and 29 seconds. One proposed mission, informally dubbed Pluto Surveyor, aims to deliver a spacecraft into a polar orbit around Pluto. There, it could measure not only the composition of its icy surface and possible subsurface liquid layers, but also chart gravitational interactions in real time. By doing so, scientists would obtain a clearer picture of how external gravitational forces from Neptune, 
Jupiter, and even far-off Kuiper Belt objects influence Pluto's movements over time. 14 minutes and 58 seconds. These efforts are not just about Pluto. They're about refining our understanding of orbital mechanics at large, and applying that knowledge to exoplanets, planetary formation, and the prediction of long-term cosmic events. The dynamic stability of the Pluto-Neptune resonance offers a natural laboratory to test fundamental astrophysical principles that can later be applied to newly discovered solar systems light years away. 15 minutes and 26 seconds. Meanwhile, interest in the theoretical collision scenario, while still deemed highly improbable, continues to fuel debates in astrophysical circles. Some theorists suggest that while Pluto and Neptune remain in resonance now, the introduction of an external force, say, a rogue interstellar object or a massive gravitational perturbation from an undetected outer planet, could disturb the system. Though such scenarios are rare, they are not impossible. 15 minutes and 54 seconds. If such a disturbance occurred, the result could be a cascading effect, altering not just Pluto's orbit but those of many Kuiper Belt objects. This so-called gravitational domino effect could reshape the outer edges of the solar system. The idea, though speculative, illustrates just how delicately balanced our solar system truly is, and how vital it is to continue our surveillance of its farthest reaches. 16 minutes and 23 seconds. Back on Earth, the implications go beyond academic. As space agencies collaborate on planetary defense strategies, understanding potential orbital disruptions, even those millions of kilometers away, has become part of a broader conversation about protecting Earth from cosmic hazards. It's a...